Hello everyone, uh, this is a presentation concerning the research project Real-Time Mode Detection and Coloring Android Platform. My name is Anas Nadifi and uh, this is our presentation. So as an introduction, uh, the project was inspired uh, in the way of uh, incorporating the technology advances in the mobile uh, in the mobile world to uh, solve some uh, solutions which were previously unsolved, previously unsolved, and uh, to enable uh, the the merging of uh, compute in this case computer vision uh, algorithms as well as the mobile solutions to provide a, to provide a, a very easy and uh, efficient uh, very easy to use and efficient solution. So in our case, the the field we are uh, we 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 were interested that in is the house decoration field. We uh, developed a, a sol mobile solution to enable the previsualization of uh, wall paintings in virtual in in the virtual world. Uh, uh, that way, the the paint companies uh, can have uh, much better uh, experience with their clients, uh, enable them to enabling them to try try out their paintings virtually uh, on their walls. the The project inspiration uh, was from. Uh, two areas. First area is the is the our interest in the computer vision algorithms, uh, mainly the image manipulation, image transformation, uh, image enhancement, as well as um, as well as the uh, seen a, a project uh, which was done in the iOS platform. Uh, which uh, attempted the which attempted the, this uh, solving this uh, this problem. In our case, uh, to provide something new to the research community, we we uh, focused on the Android system, and uh, we selected state-of-the-art computer algorithms and used some dedicated APIs from the Android OS, notably. Uh, the camera a camera X API for the image analyzing, uh, as well as the uh, image feeding and image output, and uh, computer vision algorithms such as histogram equalization, uh, histogram equalization algorithm, the CLAHE, as well as the the, the CANI, as well as uh, image masking and flood feeding, etc. A general overview of our method, uh, without going to the technical details, we will go to them in the next slides. Is uh, we get we have a, a continuous uh, algorithm which runs in real time. It performs. Uh, it is performed on every frame that's outputted to the user. Every frame the camera gets is 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 processed and then outputted to the user. First, we get an input, which is the image matrix, and then we make pre-processing. This is required uh, because it's because we have uh, limited resources, in our case, Android uh, OS, and then uh, we make uh, the image segmentation. From the image segmentation, we get the next seed point tracking because this is a real-time, uh, real-time wall coloring. So first, the seed point is fed into the algorithm, but then it's predicted by the algorithm. And next, uh, after image segmentation, the matrix goes to an asynchronous task, which predicts the next uh, coordinates of the seed point, next seed point, and as well as um, output a mask for the image, for the frame, and apply that mask over the real image, and then post-process the image uh, after all this processing, which is uh, com uh, which is uh, resource uh, requiring, so many resources. After post processing, we output uh, our result. 
So more in more technical details, this is uh, the algorithm. So we get the input input image input image as a matrix a math object. Uh, this all is coded in Java. So after getting the input image in math object, the image matrix is actually very big. Uh, it has very big uh, proportions. So we perform a pare down uh, option, a pare down uh, a pare down step, which actually makes the matrix smaller and more workable with but without uh, without actually sacrificing the the, the matrix's uh, properties then we make a histogram equalization to get rid of the of the light uh, lighting limitations uh, pre, uh, uh, such as shadows bad lighting uh, bad uh, bad angles etc and then we perform a Gaussian, Gaussian filtering for uh, making the edges very crisp and very clear. And then we perform the, the border, uh, the edge detection using the candy method, uh, which fed into a grayscale, the grayscale version of the input image matrix. And then after that, we copy the borders, we make a mask. We float fill the mask with the color chosen by the user and then uh, we perform dilation to remove any noise and after uh, performing dilation we uh, feed the mask we feed the mask to the input image to apply it on the input image we pair up the image matrix and then output the image uh, on the other side we dilate the image but same time we erode uh, the image this to remove any noise from the edges and keep only the, the real wall area as a as a white. In our case, it's white. Everything else is black. And from that white area, the first point detected is the next point. Uh, next point. Uh, next point fed into the algorithm. Uh, this is our. Uh, this can. This is all done in uh, asynchronous task, uh, which doesn't prevent the UI from. Doesn't disturb. Doesn't disrupt the UI of the application and uh, we can uh, call this section as a image segmentation wall coloring and um, uh, tracking the image so this is performed uh, as we said uh, in a continuous manner frames are fed and uh, the, the algorithm processes the, the processes the, the, the images if a point is clicked, if a new point is clicked by the user, this uh, step is ignored, as we will see from the, we can see from the from the source code. Source code uh, can be available upon request. Uh, yeah. So if we want to explore the limitations, uh, we can see here. This is a sample real world image of a room, normal room. We can see the, the, the presence of shadows in specific regions of the wall. Overall low quality image. The, the device worked in this worked within this research is a S7 Galaxy device, which is fairly old. We can see the image is already a GPG quality, which is low. A GPG image, which is low, but even the GPG is 80%. Uh, and this all uh, presents a seat point tracking constraint. And also sometimes there is uh, overlighted regions or underlighted regions, if we, if we say so. There is also black flat objects. This is a problem because of the the the, the border. This is very crisp border. If we compare the white and the black, this is very crisp border. And the overlighting is also disrupting the, the algorithm. Uh, as we see here, the lighting is is is. Uh, is not the same in all regions. That's why we, we that's why we perform the histogram equalization. But even so, even after doing that, there is some constraints. Uh, also, we see here like this is the same wall, but there is edges within the same wall. So in order to achieve uh, all of this, more is required to to overcome this. Right now, these are the limitations for us. Also, uh, the smooth edges between 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 objects, for example, roof and wall, the edge is so smooth, it's not crisp. Um, 
and these are all the limitations uh, for us currently which uh, we believe right now we gave uh, we gave uh, uh, an addition to the research for this area and can be improved later with the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning so these are some results uh, some perfect results we got this is a perfectly lighted room the minimal shadow and etc so we see that even the light switches everything is is is, is uh, correctly edged etc and these are some other rooms we see here uh, the wall is detected with some deficiencies in the in the, some edges and we see here what we were talking about this is an office so everything is well colored but we see that the, this was a blackboard so we see that the, the code actually the edges were not detected in here the edges were not detected so this is definitely a subject of improve uh, of uh, this is a starting point which can be greatly improved uh, later but I, we think that it's a very good uh, can be a very good addition to the research in this area and now we will uh, show the demo video okay hello jean uh, this is the demo for the for the painting app now it's detecting the seed points and as you can see detecting the wall sorry for the room uh, so it's detecting the wall the door over there is already like flat like uh, as the wall so you can see that also this setup is uh, harder because there is so much uh, shadow etc so the edge detection there is a problem but we will improve in the next uh, in the for the final paper I mean. thank you very much